What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to port forward a port from your Windows PC to Ubuntu WSL or any WSL for that matter. Now, you may be asking why? Well, the simple answer is you can run things like automatic 11.11 stable diffusion in Ubuntu WSL to maybe get better performance or use Ubuntu or Linux specific apps. Anyways, it'll open ports, say, 2000 and you can click on a link to open it on your PC. Localhost 2000, things work, you can connect to WSL. However, if you tried to allow port 2000 or whatever through your Windows firewall and connect to your PC from another device on port 2000, instead of reaching Ubuntu WSL, you reach the computer and nothing responds. We're missing one crucial step in the process and that's port forwarding from our Windows computer to the Ubuntu WSL instance or whatever WSL instance. Now that's definitely a mouthful, but let's go ahead and port forward, say, port 2000 from our Windows PC to our WSL. It's very simple to do. All you need to do is open a terminal as administrator, and inside of him, you'll be entering two commands. Net sh interface port proxy add v4 to v4. Listen, port equals followed by whatever port you're trying to forward, say 2000 or whatever, space listen address equals this can be your local IP address or just 0000, 000, 000 to listen on all adapters, Wi Fi, Ethernet, etc. Connect port equals 2000 or whatever the port is you're trying to forward, space connect address. So essentially, we're taking all incoming traffic for port 2000 on this PC on all adapters and forwarding it to port 2000 at the address we're about to type in here. Now, obviously, you can find the IP address of your Ubuntu WSL installation, but we should much rather use a variable as it can change. So inside of a dollar sign and two brackets, we'll enter another dollar sign and two brackets. And inside of this nested bracket here, we'll type in WSL host name tag capital I moving outside of the brackets with the arrow keys dot trim as such semicolon and I'll hit enter. Now we forwarded port 2000 from all adapters to port 2000 at our WSL hostname. It took a bit longer to process there as it was starting up WSL. It closed while it was in the background. Anyways, net sh interface port proxy show v4 to v4 should show us all of the forwards that we have set up. And as you can see, I forwarded port 2200 and port 2000. When we restart our PC, should the address of our Ubuntu WSL server or whatever change, it should automatically update here as far as I understand. Otherwise, we have these two commands here. Assuming you want to remove a port forward, net sh interface port proxy delete v4 to v4, followed by a listen address, whatever the listen address was, and listen port 2000. You might not need the listen address, but in this case, we did. Otherwise, we just get system cannot find the file specified. I'm getting this now as I've already deleted it. Assuming you don't remember the listen port, you can use net sh interface port proxy show v4 to v4 to find out what current ports you have port forwarded. Then you can delete it quite easily. Net sh interface port proxy show v4 to v4 should show all of the other port forwards we currently have set up, for which there's only one. We've now successfully removed it. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.